you must keep your receipts from every time you get fuel. I think that's a hassle, but I'd like to try to do that to try to get some money reimbursed. <laughs> Absolutely. The refund idea came from the legislature as the only political way to get more money for the state's roads. Since Missouri voters consistently defeat gas tax hikes at the ballot. Now here's how the refund works. Keep the receipts every time you get gas. You'll have to fill out a form from Jefferson City with your vehicle ID number on it, the date of the sale, who got the gas, who sold the gas, and the amount of gas bought, and then send all that in every year. I will probably try, but I don't think I will be able to keep up with receipts for a year. That's going to be a hard thing to do. South Carolina has a similar tax refund policy, and some, but not all, South Carolina motorists take advantage of it. The inconvenience of having to save paper, uh, it, it seems like they really don't want us to, 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 to recoup the funds. So here's the bottom line. If you keep your receipts and you send them into Jefferson City next summer, you can get a refund on this two and a half cent gasoline tax increase. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.